Shalom, shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, call Halayim La, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Becha Kodash, which means our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach and rule well, and peace and love to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'm the brother Adna from the Memphis Camp. Um, this lesson will be on this article from NBC News, published October the 26th, 2024, which is uh, which is the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. So, Lord willing, this uh, lesson be edifying to the elect on my on lunch break. So, I'll make it, you know, straight to the point. You know, Lord willing, you be edifying. So, let's play this video. As you can see, some Minneapolis shooting sparks outrage. A suspect is charged but not arrested. You know, so let's play it. This was a shocking moment caught on camera. Video obtained by our NBC affiliate, Care 11, shows David Matori trimming a tree outside his Minneapolis home Wednesday, when according to court documents, a bullet was fired from his neighbor's upstairs window. The bullet like went down um, through my neck and then all the way back to my spine. Matori so right told now, NBC affiliate, Care 11, he's also recovering from broken ribs and a concussion. Adding, the last 11 months since he and his wife moved in, they've been living a nightmare next door to John Shawshack. Court documents show the victim called police 19 times prior to the shooting for incidents including harassment, hate speech, and verbal threats. It also says Shawshack suffers from mental illness. Shawshack has been charged with attempted murder, but he is not in jail. Police allowing him to stay in his home because they say he's a threat to himself and others. The likelihood of an armed, violent confrontation where we may have to use deadly force with the suspect in this case is high. That excuse sparking community outrage. We have to take violent criminals off the street. So I'm not a police officer. I don't know how that gets done, but I know it needs to get done. Police say Shawshank rarely leaves his home and the department has not set an arrest date. We are not going to bust the door down, guns blazing, and get into a deadly force situation. But we will ensure the community will be safe. Matori says he feels the Minneapolis Police Department failed to protect his family by not arresting his neighbor when they needed the most. If you're saying you're scared, what does that do to me, you know? Like, you have this body armor, you have professional training. So, right. Like, they pretty much cut him off, so, I mean, yeah, they talking about you know, we not going to bust in the door, gun blazing. But, hey, if it was the opposite, right, the other end, shit, y'all set the whole house on fire, you know? <laughs> so, right, so this pretty much is nefarious work, right? This shit is diabolical here, man. But we know what it is. You know, we know, just could just say in Genesis, the fourth chapter, if anybody touch a, uh, touch a cane, the punishment would be sevenfold. So vengeance is the Lord. We got to wait on the Lord to pay these devils back for everything they have done to us, man. You know? But at the end of the day, what happened to him is judgment from on high. You know? It's judgment from on high. You know? So let's get this um in the good new translation, Psalms 73. And I started at 5. They do not suffer as other people do. It's exactly. They don't suffer as we do. For one, the Israelites, we are under curses. They said they do not suffer as other people do. They do not have the troubles that others have, right? Because they in their kingdoms. You know, they in their kingdom, and this is their heaven, and this is our hell, right? So they're not suffering as we do, man. They're not struggling like the so-called Negroes, Blacks, Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know? And they say they do not suffer as other people do. They do not have the troubles that others have. And so they were pride like a necklace and violence like a rope. And this their DNA, violence. You know, violence, that's all they know. Violence is, um, is a garment, as they say in the King James. Look at violence. It's a behavior involving physical force intended to hurt, damage, or delete someone or something. So this is their mercy. This is their... Um, <laughs> They mercy here, man. Violence, man. They said the tender mercy of the wicked is cruel. This is all they know. And for this, hold on, let's go to it. For him, 
yeah, this nigga here, you know, <laughs> mental illness. That's a that's a get out of jail free card. Mental illness now, you know. But hey, the scripture said this is not our rest, man. This is um uh, before I get name home. I want to get this to Psalms ninety four and twenty. Should the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frame and mischief by law, you see, they gather them, they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. So right, so can unjust leaders, can unjust leaders claim that the Most High is on their side? Leaders who decrees permit injustice, the laws, right? These Edomite laws ain't made for Jake, ain't made for Israel, man. Here it is. You could do the same crime as an Edomite, right? But you get the death penalty or you get life in jail versus him. He get on house arrest or a slap on the wrist. Shit, this right here. You know, attempt to murder, but he's still in his house chilling, right? Playing, you know, cleaning up his weapons, his AK or whatever. <laughs> I'm watching the crease, man. But this is not our wrist. So the most I ain't dealing with y'all. Hey, hold on. Real quick, Slacky. This just came to my spirit. Hold on. Let me see. Can I find it? Oh, boy. It came to my spirit. Hold on. Fifty-seven. Fifty-six. What time? Dude. Damn, it's like I'm gonna have to find it. I think this is it though. Yeah, heart, you woke wickedness, you weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. It's like I'm a little what I put in the description, but let's go back to that song. Um, 90. So it's 94 and 20 NOT again. So like you said, can unjust leaders claim that the Most High is on their side? Leaders who decrees permit injustice. They gang up against the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. There's an NOT. Let's continue. But the Lord is my fortress. My power is the mighty rock where I hide. See, you got to hide, come under the protection of Yah, but it's I pray to him, cry out to him. You know, he say uh, in that video, he called the cops 19 times. You know, for protection, but you know, Esau ain't showing up. So, hey, that's not the scripture said who should be moaned. You know, ain't nobody coming to uh, our rescue. The only person, the only entity that can save you is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. 23 said, The most I will turn the sins of evil people back on them. He will destroy them for their sins. The Lord, our power, will destroy them. Right? Payback is coming for you, devils, man. Vengeance is his. Nahum, Nahum 1 and 2, the, the Most High is jealous, the Lord, Yahweh, revenge it. The Lord revenge it and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserve it wrath for his enemies, man. You see? Because the truth said, well, uh, wait upon me to our eyes uh, to the prey, you know? So vengeance belong unto Yahweh, and my shy. You know, all we can do is just pray to the Lord about it, man. You know, and stay on the Lord, you know, stay on the Lord's good side because he is angry with the wicked every day. You know, and these devils think the most side dealing with them, right? Not knowing Zechariah 2 8. It said, The Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and we're not at all equipped the wicked. So the most side not going to let you devils uh, escape, you know? He's going to punish y'all, man. Y'all not going to go on punishment. The Lord has his way in the whirlwind and the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. You see? So, this is Michael 2 and 10. It reads, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Right? This world, this society, this life is not our rest. This is hell. You know? So, depart and come back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. But you still got Israelite Jake. Still about to go out there and vote come November the 5th, next week, next Tuesday. You see? Y'all trust in oppression. Y'all chuck it. Y'all don't trust it in, in these devils. And the scripture said, keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. Let me see. Can I get that? Keep far. 
So Act 9 and 13, keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. So should thou not doubt the fear of death, and if thou come unto him, make no fault. So shit, walk on eggshells, man. Lest he take away that life presently. Remember that thou goes in the midst of snares, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city, man. So stay away from these devils, man. Trust not what because it say trust uh never trust not enemies. You know? Never trust these enemies, man. But you stay you got Jake trusting these devils, man. You know? So this life is ain't a, it's not our rest, man. The scripture said we are seeking for um a city to come. Hebrews thirteen and um fourteen for here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. That's the kingdom of heaven. Where true rest would be allowed. Everlasting rest at that. No more pain, no more sorrow. No more devils come up against us. No more unrighteous decrees. Right? Everlasting rest, the kingdom of heaven. We don't have to worry about, you know, for one, Esau not going to be our neighbors. No heathens going to be our neighbors. You know? But this shit not going to not gonna happen in the kingdom of heaven, man. Because we going to be on top and you heathens going to be on the bottom. And if, if you are Edomite, the, the least of the heathens, you're going to be done away with, according to the book of Obadiah. Because this is madness right here, man. This shit is madness, man. It's 2024. You still got this shit happening, right? Jake and hung still. <laughs> you know? So, right? So, for this war, it's not our permanent home, right? This war is temporary. The Lord going to destroy this war. Esau is the end of the war. And Jacob is the beginning of their following. So the NLT said, for this world, it's not our permanent home. We are looking forward to a home yet to yet to come. That's the kingdom of heaven. Yahweh Shai kingdom being a praise in the earth. We ought to give him no rest. We got to constantly sign and cry for all the abomination to be done in the midst of man. You see? But the most I going to pay you devils back, man, in due time. Let's go and get that Zechariah 2 and 8. For thus said the Lord... Of hosts, after the glory he sent me unto the nations which spoil you. For he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. You see? For behold, I will shake my hand upon them. The Lord gonna bring judgment upon you on nations, man. And they shall be a spoil to their servants, and you should know that the Lord of hosts has sent me exactly. And until I will raise my fist to crush them, and their own slaves will plunder them. Who are the slaves? We are. And we're going to plunder you devils, man. Because with thee, right, you are my battle acts and weapons of war. Ezekiel 25 and 14. Lord, like, let's get that next. It said, um, I will raise my fist uh, to crush them, and their own slaves will plunder, plunder them. Then you will know that the Lord of heaven's armies has sent me, man. The Lord says, shout and rejoice, O bit of a Jerusalem, which is a people for some place. For I am coming to live among you. Exactly. So let's get uh, Ezekiel. 25-14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And this is coming, man. This is definitely coming. You devil's going to get paid back. Ain't no saving no Edomite. Salvation is far from the wicked. That's what the scriptures say. Salvation is far from the wicked. I'm not lying. I ain't make that up. Psalms 119. And 155. Salvation is far from the wicked. It's far from you devils, man. For they seek not thy statues. Exactly, man. On watch your decrees. A uh, uh, boy can turn his sets. A man can lay down with mankind. They don't bother with the decrees. What that? Psalms 50? The 50th chapter? I don't got to get it. Then it's good to say, ain't no peace for you devils, man. Isaiah 48. So like Isaiah 48 and 22. There is no peace, said the Lord, unto the wicked. And the wicked are you Edomites. Malachi the fourth chapter. So no peace is coming for you devils, man. You should have mercy. So like you, you should have, let's get it, James 4. Is it 13? Nope. Bear with me, James 2. And 13, for he should have judgment without mercy that have shown no mercy. And mercy rejoices against judgment. 
So these devils, the wicked, is not going to receive no mercy at all. They're going to be destroyed. They're going to get the ass beat in the kingdom of heaven. You see? Of course, all you heathens, every last one of y'all should go into captivity, John, uh, Jeremiah 30, 16. But definitely, you Edomites. It's not a good time to be an Edomite right now. It never was. You see? So, right, let's finish Ezekiel 25, and I'll get ready to end it. Ezekiel 25 and um, 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger. According to who anger? The Lord, the Most High. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh shot anger. And according to my fury. And they should know my vengeance, said the Lord Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh shot. So this is definitely going to happen. Let's end with 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. In verse 6, since it is a righteous thing with the most high to wicked pent tribulation to them that trouble you. In his justice, he will pay back those who persecute you. So these devils not going to escape for all the wrong they have done to us, man. The most high going to pay them back. And he going to destroy them. And he going to use us to destroy them, to get our lick back. But we got to wait upon him. It's going to say, him without sin should cast the first stone. So we got to wait upon your house shot to come back and destroy these devils, man. Rightfully so. All we got to do is cry out and pray to him. But, you know, niggas ain't coming back. Niggas don't want to cry out to the Lord. They, they trust in oppressing, and they don't seek the Holy One of Israel. They would have just uh, vote for Trump or some shit, man. Or Kamala uh, Harris or some shit, man, instead of praying out to the Lord. That this place, America, is still going to be destroyed by nuclear fire. The most I despise this, uh, this uh, society, man. You know, but this right here is diabolical activity right here, man. <laughs> you know, but hey, he and his kingdom. The earth is given to uh, the hand of the wicked, you know. So, right. So, once again, a little willing this lesson was edifying to the let. Once again, give our praises to you. How about Shem? How about Shem?